Hi. Hello, lovelies. So, I'm on camera today because, you know, as of late, we've been having riots in the streets. We've been having protests. We've been having lines drawn on Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter. And I remember about two years ago, I actually did a Facebook post going through statistics as far as Black Lives Matter and why it's this thing, what have you. And I thought about doing a video on that two years ago, but I figured now's the time. Um, pretty much what this is, it's not a um, malediction on white people. It's not to attack anybody or anything like that. It's not to come off as angry or having a chip on our shoulder or anything like that, whatever. It's presenting the facts. And the facts, you can't dispute the facts. That's just what it is. Um, what I'm hoping people get from this is an understanding of why we say what we say about Black Lives Matter and why we feel like it's such a prevalent thing because honestly, if Black Lives don't matter, you know, if Black, Black Lives Matter, then all lives matter. That's just how it goes. So pretty much what we're looking at right now is statistics. I went to statistica.com to pull up the number of um, police-related killings from the past four years. So in 2017, 457 white people were killed by the police, 223 black people were killed by the police, 179 Hispanic people were killed by the police. 2018, white people, 399, Black people, 209. Hispanic people, 148. 2019, we jumped up to 370 for white people, 235 for black people, and 158 for Hispanic people. This year, as of March 30th, we've had 42 white people, 31 black people, and 13 Hispanic people. Now I'm going to focus primarily on the last two years. So in the last two years combined, 412 white people have been killed by the police. 266 black people have been killed by the police. 171 Hispanic people have been killed by the police. Now, people like to bring up the fact that white people do get, get, do be, do get killed by the police and they get killed by the police in greater numbers than black people do. And that's true. Based on the numbers I've presented, that is very true. However, while gross numbers do matter, st so does proportion. So according to population of, from 2019, there are 328.2 million people in the United States. Okay, 77% of them are considered to be white. 12% of them, 12.7, are black. Okay, 17.8% are, are Hispanic. So if you think about the, the, the bigger picture here, what we're looking at is a group of people who are essentially a little more, just a little bit more than one eighth of the population right but if you look at the, the statistics we're one eighth of the population yet we're almost a third 33 percent of copyrighted deaths in 2019. if you look at 2020 thus far again up till march 31st we are over a third of the number of deaths we're actually setting at 36 percent okay 85 total deaths we're 31 of them 763 deaths a year prior we're 235 of them that is what we're talking about. Proportionally speaking, we're getting killed in far greater in far greater numbers than our white and Hispanic counterparts. Our Hispanic counterparts have not have have not fared well either. In 2019, they they were what 17 percent of the population. They were killed 20 percent of the time by the cops and went down to 15. So they've they've gotten lucky. But what we're looking at right now is, is again, this is not a malediction. This is not, oh, I, you know, all cops are bad things. That's not the case. But what we're looking at right now is we're in a situation where a small fraction of the population is having this biggest, the biggest problem. And instead of wanting to talk about it or face the uncomfortable truth, we're sitting there trying to race our way to the bottom. Well, you, I'm, you know, what about white people? What about this? What about that? And granted, those are valid concerns. Those are valid concerns. White people, you know, they do have the right to say, hey, cops are killing us too. You absolutely have that right. But what we're saying is, right now, the, folk, the, the concentration of the issue right now is why we make up 12.7% of the population of the United States of America, yet we in the last two years have been killed at, at, the, at 30%, 30% and 36% of the, of the times that somebody's been killed by the, by the police. That's a problem. Because if you think about it, we're 12.7% of the population 
30% is two and a fourth times more than what we, than, than what we make up in percentage wise. 36% is three times more of that. So we're getting whacked out at, high, at, at high, disproportionately higher numbers. That's what this is about. And I know there's some people out there that are going to be like, oh, well, you know, they're one bad cop shouldn't spoil the bunch, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. One bad cop is one bad cop too many. We can't sit there and excuse this behavior because, we, you know, we want to be pro-flag and pro-cop. That's all this is about. Blue lives matter. This is not what it's about because the fact of the matter is you chose to be a blue life, not minimizing what you do because, honestly, there are a lot of good cops out there. I'm related to a couple of good cops. But what I'm saying is a lifestyle choice is, n is different than a biological disposition. I didn't choose to be black. I didn't choose to be racially profiled. I, we don't choose that. It's put upon us. And there can be people that can say, oh, well, you know, you guys, you guys just have a chip on your shoulder. You guys need to do better, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's problematic because, again, it's not looking at the issue. The issue at hand is... The communities are not talking to each other. They're talking at each other. They're not listening. This is a this is not a black issue. This is not a white issue. This is a very human issue. There is no reason why one group of our country is being wiped out in higher gross numbers, when it, a higher percent higher proportionate numbers than the other groups. There's no reason why, if you think about it, fifty percent of twenty nineteen, fifty percent, even though we don't make up fifty percent of the population. Of, his, of the people that were killed by the police were Hispanic or black. Cumulatively, we make up 30.5% of the population. That's it. Because if you think about it, when we look at uh, pop d demographics, 61%, 0.3% United States is quote unquote white. The 77% comes from the white and the non-white in the Hispanic and the white Hispanics, which is why I get that high number. But if you think about it, 30% of the, of the country are 50 percent of the killings and of the of copulated killings 2019 jump to 2020 they're 51 percent so the number's gone up that's why there's people in the streets protesting that's why people are saying black lives matter for hell for that matter you can you can bring in the you can bring in the brown lives too there's no reason why we should we make up less than half the population yet we're making them half or more than half of the people being killed by the police Hell, you people want to bring up the bad cops and all that stuff, whatever. There's no reason why in 2015 alone, 100 unarmed black men were killed by the police. There's no reason for that. It's not acceptable. And we can sit there and we can try to s s s spin it in where you want to, whatever. But this is an issue. This is a systemic issue. This is an issue that needs attention. This is an issue that needs talking about. This is an issue that needs to be confronted head on because, again, these numbers do not lie. Proportionally, we are getting hit, and we're getting hit harder than any other group. And people can sit there and say, oh, well, it's not a black thing, it's just a myth, blah, blah, blah. Then how do you dispute the numbers? How do you, how could you sit there and tell me, because you know, I do have a lot of white friends, how could you sit there and tell me, based on these numbers, that there's not a problem? Can't do it. Unless you choose not to, unless you don't want to. And it saddens me that we have to have these kind of conversations and it saddens me that you know there's this lack of understanding or lack of want to, wanting to understand the other side of it whatever it's just like oh well i have the complexion for the protection and that's all that matters because honestly i'm gonna keep it real no offense white people you know i love you but a lot of white people were like oh well you know I, it's the cops the cops all that matter don't attack the cops i'm like yeah but the cops are attacking us Okay, and I noticed that a lot of minorities who, who fall into this all lives matter issue as well are minorities who happen to be dating people or married to people with the complexion for the protection. But they they they're going to find out the hard way. That guess what? It doesn't matter who you're married to or who you're dating, whatever. You can very well become a statistic just like just like all these other people. Okay, again, if there's a house on fire. I said this before many times. If there's a house on fire. Yes, all the houses on the block matter. Absolutely, 100%, they matter. But that house right there, the one that's actually having the severe damage done to it, needs attending to. If I have brain cancer, yes, all cancers matter, but I'm dealing with right now a very, very strong strain of the cancer, whatever, and so this is what needs attending to. 
and somebody fell down and broke their leg and I get look at the ground and I'm like, hey, help this person. You can't sit there and be like, well, what about my legs too? Because right now that's not the urgent issue. Not that it's not an issue because it is an issue. Caught killing people, period, is a problem. But when you look at the proportionate numbers, whatever, there's a huge problem that we're not dealing with. And people can dress it up however they want to, but that's just what it is. And I don't want to hear any more about there's good cops out there. Yeah, there are, there are good cops out there. There's no doubt about that, whatever. But this is going to get anecdotal. There's no reason why that people who are sworn to protect and serve me are people who, who instill the most fear in me. There's no reason why people who protect and serve me are the face of my greatest fears. There's no, re there's no, there's no reason to justify that. And a lot of black people feel that way. A lot of Hispanic people feel that way. I can't say too many white people, and correct me if I'm wrong, feel that way. What it comes down to. And again, one bad cop is enough. Let's just look at it again. 2015, 100 unarmed black men, which, me which means at least 100 cops, 100 bad cops in 2015 alone. At least 763 bad cops in 2019 if you count up all the deaths combined. Because you know, usually it's more than one police officer. Plus another 85. So it's like we can sit there and say, oh, yeah, you know, one bad cop, but there's no reason why 848 bad cops should not be held accountable for these deaths. And there's no reason why some structuring should not be changed about to accommodate this issue. None whatsoever period full stop because if there were 848 bad employees for any company anywhere in the world disney world you name it there'd be some there'll be some structuring going on there'll be some restructuring going on if there were 848 bad pilots out there you better trust and believe all the airlines will be will be trying to fix that shit quickly so why is it okay for us to have 848 bad cops at least in the past two years and we're supposed to just shrug that off they're supposed to be there for our protection not for our demise we shouldn't we shouldn't be in our bed sleeping getting killed we shouldn't be playing video games with our nephews being killed we shouldn't be begging you not to kill us on the ground for 10 minutes we shouldn't be 12 year old boys with little water pistols or toy guns getting shot to death that's what this is about and the sooner we understand it the better Again, I don't subscribe to rioting personally. For me, it's not my thing because, you know, I believe in karma and I don't want that bad juju on me should somebody get hurt because of my actions. But I understand it. I get it. Because I live with that same fear and that same anger and that same hurt that all those people, or a lot, a lot of those people, I should say, are feeling. But I do find it ironic that there's, it's okay to have some bad cops, but it's not okay to have some bad protesters. Because the peaceful ones get no rap whatsoever. But the bad ones, oh, they're all like that. They're all thugs. They're all angry. This, 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 and this. Well, where's that energy for, you know, the pro where's, that, where's that energy for the good protesters? There is none. So you need, so we need to really sit there and figure out what it is that we need to do for ourselves. Because right now we're picking sides. We're not listening. We're not being honest factually or otherwise. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So that's what it is. You know, those are the stats. If you want to look them up, again, go to statistica.com. They have them there for you. You can read them yourself. You can have that conversation. Hopefully, this conversation be, will be a productive one. And we're not just sitting there pointing fingers and allotting blame and saying, oh, you were this, 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 and this, and you shouldn't, blah, 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 because we're not getting anything done right now. There's a bad psychic energy in this country right now. There's a bad psychic energy in this world right now. And we need to do something about that. We need to fix that now. First step, listen to each other. Ask as an ally, to whether, whether you're a black to white ally, white to black ally, how can I help you? What can I do to, to, for, to, to help you? Maybe to be understand something or to, you know, need help. I've had allies come to me and say, how, what do you need from us? Empathy and to pay attention to the, the facts that we are telling you. If you choose not to, then you're complicit in the problem. And if you don't want to be branded with that brush, then wake the fuck up. Period. That note, namaste.